Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadosh, and coming back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Land of Confusion. Land of Confusion. So, you know, just the other day, I was just looking around, just around my surrounding, you know, my environment, you know, just looking at uh, the shape that this uh, this world has gotten in. You know, I'm walking around seeing a lot of uh, men that, 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 that are homosexual, you know, holding hands, hugging one another, you know, kissing, you know. And there's just a lot of confusion there. A lot of women uh, are dressing like men now, want, want to be the man, want to exert this uh, authority over the man. So you know, I looked at all of that, you know what I'm saying? Women are being very uh, masculine now. You know, they're being more manly-like instead of being what they what they was created to be. But the idea about it, you, you look around, a lot of evilness and, and deceivingness and uh, 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 just a lot of uh, wickedness is going on in this earth. And uh, so I, you know, turn the TV on. The same thing, you know. You see, uh, men holding one another hands. They, they are kissing one another. They marrying, uh, same sex marriage. You know what I'm saying? Even sleeping with the animals. It's all sorts of, uh, 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 wickedness and foolishness is going on. But through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I put a lesson together through the spirit. You know, uh, and the title of day lesson is the land of confusion. And I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn. And I hope that this will help someone today and that you will come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So now we'll get started in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, and uh, verse 33. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but but of peace. As all churches of the saints. Let's read that again. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. For Yahweh, the Most High, is not the author, author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not the author of all this confusion, what we see right now, all this sin. And all this wickedness, he's not the author of this at all. Even though he create good and evil, but he's not the author of this wickedness, what's going on. The, the earth is, is, is polluted. You know, and everywhere you look around, you know, and the ideal about it, it's easy to get sucked back into this wickedness if you don't trust and believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So now we'll go to, uh, let's go to Job chapter 9. I mean, yes, Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Let's find out about who is the author of this confusion. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. And it reads, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Let's read that again. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, and where, and who is he? Who is he? That The, the author of confusion is Esau Edom, the so-called red man. Genesis chapter 25 and 25. You know, that he's, the, he's the wicked that the Lord created. When you when he talks about that too, also in, uh, in uh, Romans chapter 9, I think you can start up around verse 20 and read down to about uh, 24, you know, say he is the, the wrath fitted for destruction. So, you know, he's the one that keeping all this wickedness, all this uncleanness going on, in this, all this confusion, homosexuality, beast, beastinality, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all these GMO, all these chemtrails in there, destroying the earth, you know what I'm saying? And keeping all this confusion going on because he is the wicked that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked to keep all this confusion going on for a certain time. Because we sin against Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So we are living in the land of our confusion and the land of our captivity, which in fact is Babylon the Great. This is the land of confusion, aka America, United States of America. This is a very wicked place and it will be destroyed. So now we'll go to, uh, let's go to Romans chapter, uh, let's go to Romans chapter 13. I mean, Romans chapter 9 and verse 13, Salakia. One moment. <clears throat> Romans chapter 
Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. And it reads, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Let's read that again. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the idea about it, you know, there's a lot of confusion going on there. You know, he loved everyone. You know, everyone can receive salvation. Plain and simple, as it is written, Jacob I love and Esau I hate. So the idea about it is one that he loved. And who do he love? The 12 tribes of Israel. If you come from the African-American, the Negro, the Latinos, Hispanic, native of Indian, and the Mexicans, you are an Israelite, the chosen people, the only people on this earth that he is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Esau he hates. Because the idea about it, he is the wicked, the one that's keeping all this uh, confusion going on in the land to this day. But he is only doing the will of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Look around you, you know what I'm saying? Pray, be sober, you know what I'm saying? And come back into the clearness of his sight, which in fact, this great wisdom and knowledge, which is only uh, in fact come from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now, we'll go to, let's go to Hebrews, get a little bit more edification on this, uh, about the land of confusion. And who is the author of this confusion? Now we'll go to Hebrews. One moment. Let's go to Hebrews chapter. Chapter I want to go to here. Chapter 12. And we'll start up at verse 16. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. And it reads. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Verse 7. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, and for he was found no place of repentance, though though he sought it carefully with tears. So the idea about it, you know, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So that's a lot of wickedness, a lot of uh, dark and evilness is going on, and unclean and filthiness. This world is com it's completely uh, uh, polluted. And uh, recompense and judgment is on the way. The Lord is getting ready to come back to clean this place up, to level this place. You know what I'm saying? Because the ideal about it, the, the sin has it, it, exceedingly great. It has reached all into the heavenly realm. And he's getting ready to set up his kingdom, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven, the, the world without end. It's, it's on the way. Transition of power is getting ready to take place. The birthright. You know what I'm saying? That that's what this is all about. He saw in Jacob. And we are in the living in the land of our captivity in a land of confusion and this is a land of of, 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 of of death and destruction you know what i'm saying but that deal about it you know what i'm saying this place will be total uh destroyed and, and, and desolate but that deal about it back uh the title of day lesson once again is the land of confusion and uh, and 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 deal about it is that you know what i'm saying we got to trust and believe in yahweh bashim yahweh shai that's the only way we will get out of this confusion you know what I'm saying? We must come back into that marvelous light. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 33 and 6 said, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of time. We'll keep your mind uh, and that mindset stable in the great time of trouble that's right upon us, which in fact, uh, we at the beginning of sorrow, which in fact is Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of uh, confusion is going on right now. But due to the will and the power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, it will be made clear to the elect, the house of David. So now, We'll go to, uh, let's go to Isaiah. One moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 10. And it reads, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Let's read that again. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So during Jacob's trouble, you know, a lot of things, this place is being broke, broken down from the inside out, you know, and I deal about the spirit of the Lord is moving through this great and wicked place, getting ready to bring this place down. You know, a lot of things, you know, people are unemployed, you know, a lot of uh, rumors are shortage of, of food, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the beginning, you know, a lot of people are, are beginning to see that, that it, it's a lot of uh, uncertainties going, a lot of confusion is going on. Because this is the will of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You know, this is the land of confusion. You know what I'm saying? You look around you, everywhere you look, it's some type of uh, 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 per perverseness and an evilness is going on. Like uh, uh, a man trying to have a baby, you know, uh, trying to put a, 
a, a, a, a womb inside of man. That is, is great confusion and great a great sin. And you will be burnt off the face of the earth, which in fact, that is the wicked. Esau, Edom, he is constantly keeping a lot of confusion up. This is the land of our confusion. But the idea about the spirit and the power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, that the elect will not fall for any of these devices that Satan is trying to pull on, especially uh, the Maxine mandatory, you know what I'm saying? He has the answer, but he is the wicked, the one that's keeping all this confusion up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to start this uh, global reset, you know what I'm saying? This uh, 5G uh, digital blockchain system, you know what I'm saying? Which in fact will lead into the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beast, the land of confusion. But that deal about it, the, the house of David, we are not in confusion, you know what I'm saying? We are at peace, you know what I'm saying? We are hastened on that great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So now, let's drop down to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 30. One moment. Get a little bit more edification. Let's go to Isaiah 30, and we'll go to about verse, Isaiah 30 and verse uh, 3. Therefore shall the strength of Egypt be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt is your confusion. So this is revised. This is the second Egypt. You know, this is a revived Roman Empire, which in fact, this is our land of captivity once again. And Pharaoh is Esau Edom, the so-called red man in these modern times. You know what I'm saying? As the Lord is dealing with you, you will, will be able to understand this. Won't be any confusion. He is not the author of confusion. And the idea about it, we are trusting in the shadow of Egypt. You know, going after the ways of the Gentiles. You know, he said, keep my commandment and live. And when you go to the book of Leviticus chapter 18, it tells you how to live and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? But we did not do that. We are trusting in the shadow of Egypt and in and, 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 and our land of confusion. And it's keeping you away from your true power because you, you are unbelieving. You are a rebellious house that didn't want to return to your house by Shem, Yahweh Shah. This is the land of confusion. But now we'll go to our last and final strip. You know, let's go to uh let's go to Ezra, the book of Ezra. One book of uh Ezra, one moment. Let's go to the book of Ezra. And uh we'll go to chapter nine. Chapter nine and verse seven. Uh the book of Ezra, chapter nine and verse seven, and it reads Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass uh, unto this day. For and for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered unto the hands of the kings of the land, to the sword, to the captivity, and to the spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is to this day. Let's read that again. That's very powerful. Uh, Ezra, uh, the book of Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 7. Since the days of our fathers, have we been in a great trespass against, uh, unto this day? And for our iniquities, have we, our kings, our priests, been delivered unto the land of the kings of the lands, of the lands, to the sword, to the captivity, and to the spoil, and to the confusion of faith, as it is, is as it is this day, Salakin. So that deal about it, you know, when you go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, you know what I'm saying? The curse of, you know, we did not keep his commandment. You know what I'm saying? We, we sinned. So to, to this day, my forefathers, they sinned. You know what I'm saying? They was incomplete. We went out the ways of the Gentile. When you read about in Leviticus chapter uh, 18, you know what I'm saying? He said, keep my commandment and live. You know, when Moses brought the law down, we did not keep them. As now, we're not keeping them now. We are in the land of our captive. We dying left and right each and every day. You know, our men and women are getting shot down in the street. You know, injustice. We are filling the, the prison houses up left and right. You know what I'm saying? And all, and I did about it. We're constantly trusting in this land of confusion. You know what I'm saying? The land of Egypt. Esau eating the so-called red man. You know what I'm saying? Which in fact is the wicked. When you read about it in Job chapter 9 and verse uh, 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 24 and also in Job chapter 30 tell you about they were children of food. They would keep all this uh, wickedness and, and filthiness. The land is, 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 is exceedingly great with sin. So that deal about it. Let's read another one. Spirit hit me to go here right quick. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 15. 
One moment. Second Ezra chapter 15. We'll close out there. And verse 6. And it reads, For wickedness has ex exceedingly, exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their harmful works are fulfilled. Let's read that again. Second Ezra chapter uh, 15 and verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their harmful works are fulfilled. So the idea about it, everything is coming to full circle now, you know. It's just a few more prophecies to be fulfilled, you know. This earth is full of wickedness, just as the days of Noah and also the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, when Lot and, 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 his, and his family had to, uh, to, to, to leave, you know. It was just like a rescue mission, just like a rescue mission is getting ready to happen again for that one third, that great remedy, the house of David, the one that trusts and believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We never uh, uh, turned our back on him. You know what I'm saying? We are a law to him all the way to the end. We are ready to get out of this land of confusion and come back to our true power. You know what I'm saying? We are hastening that great and glorious return of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So I like to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rikakadash, and I like to say, Shalom.